Hey guys, it is Coach AP coming at you through the video scope here in St. John's, Newfoundland, Canada. And today we're going to be talking about some Newfoundland exports. Some 2006 born players who are from Newfoundland that moved away to play hockey this season, whether it be in the US, whether it be in Canada, prep school, or wherever. We're going to give one reason why we really like all of those players. Today's video is sponsored by Hickey's Timbermer. Now, anyone who's from Newfoundland or from the Avalon probably knows who Jay Hickey is. Super nice guy, always giving back to the hockey community. And if you look at our puck bucket, there is a Hickey Tim Hickey's Timbermer logo on that bucket for a reason. We definitely support Jay. Check them out there on the Avalon Peninsula. I know I go to the one on Torbay Road on a regular basis because that is in my neck of the woods. And I don't like to really venture outside of a 10 minute radius in St. John's. Gas is expensive. Anyway, let's move on. We'll start off on the East Coast and work our way out West. We will start with Boston Hockey Academy, Will Patey. So keep in mind, guys, also criteria is they have to be a 2006. And if I forget anybody, this is done off the cuff as usual. Very few notes. If I forgot somebody, please put them down into the uh, subscription or the subscription the description of this video so I can add them in in a future video. Okay, so Will Patey, one reason why I really like him is his skating. Now, I think one thing about Patey, like if he used his skating more, I think he'd be even more effective. There are some times when the, he backs off on his gaps. There are some times where I'm like, man, he could jump up in the rush here. This guy's a really good skater. Like activate, I feel like he could be an even better player. Or he, maybe it's just, you know, he's got some nerves. First year being away from home, I don't know. But either way, kid can skate, and he, he can hustle and pivot both ways, skate backwards. He's got nice feet. He's got light feet, agile feet. So that is the reason why I like Will Patey. Don't really know you a whole lot, Will, but wish you the best of luck this season down in the bean pot. Now, next up, Marcus Kiersey. So I know even though technically New Brunswick is more east than Boston, but hey, I'm just all over the map here. It is Thursday night, and I haven't had caffeine in roughly an hour and a half. Don't judge. Marcus Kiersey, one reason, let me see. One reason why I like Kiersey. Um, he's a five out of five in skating. He, this kid can absolutely fly. Um, I've talked about him in previous videos, how much I like his skating. He just dares you to beat him, and he gaps up like a pro. Uh, he can turn on a dime. He is shifty. He can elude a F1 four checker. And I mean, yeah, his skating is just flat out elite. So best of luck to you in the draft, Marcus. I'm sure there's lots of colleges calling you. I'm sure there's lots of major junior teams calling you. You will have a big decision. And I hope that you make the one that works the best, works out the best for you. Best of luck. All right. So let's move into the Rochester, New York area, the old Empire State. Empire, a little bit, Empire State of Mind, Alicia Keys, Jay-Z. I'm a big music guy, like my hip hop, love my late 90s, early 2000s, mid 2000s rap. So back when I was bouncing around the clubs a little bit, and when I was uh, in my band and the midget and stuff like that in the locker rooms, we had those tunes bumping. So, all right, who do we got? Kyle Green, I'm right here. And even though I'm tapping my hair, my hair is not very good right now. I kind of look like Jimmy Neutron. But I'm getting a haircut tomorrow, 10.30. Say la vie. But I'm tapping my head because Kyle Green is a smart hockey player. Plays with his head. Just like his brother does, uh, Ryan down in with Green Bay. I think Kyle Green right now, he's, I'm just looking at my sheet here. I saw the BK website. And on our and our, our information with the Quebec League, he's saying 5'9", 135. You know, if he gets as big as Ryan, he's in that 6'6", six, 6'2", six, six, area. Look out. This guy's got a great mind for the game, highly skilled. Just wise to, once he gets that, once he continues to grow, low, I think this guy's got some talent and he just sees the ice, uh, sees the ice really, really well. Playing for Chris Collins down there in PK. What's up, Chris? Next up, Nolan Avery playing for Chris's brother, Greg, with Rocco, uh, with the Rocco 15s. One thing I really like about Nolan is just how passionate he is. And I know this probably, geez, you know, you're not talking about hockey. Yes. If you want to be good at anything in life, you got to be interested. And this is a kid that's going to go to the rink at 5 a.m., 6 a.m. He probably walked there. He probably sell slushies at the snack bar if that meant he could get on the ice. 
he is very, very interested in getting better. And you can see the small improvements in the tape every single month. I just watched their game today against, I think, the Ohio AAA Blue Jackets from the 22nd of January. I'm like, yeah, you know, I think once he continues to grow, continues to get a little bit quicker off the mark, you know, he's got the intangibles. He goes to the net. He does those little things. He doesn't mind getting on the body, but he's still a little bit undersized. But he gives he, – he has that passion. And I think if he – he's got big feet. He's got, like, Ronald McDonald feet. I think once he grows into those big Ronald McDonald feet, look out. He's going to be, a, like, a good prototypical power forward right winger at the next level, wherever that may be. Best luck to Noli. I, I guarantee you're sitting home watching this video once it comes out. All right, which reminds me, give us a follow on social media. VHG Hockey is our Facebook. VHG Hockey is our um, Instagram. Check us out, obviously, on YouTube, Vision Hockey Group, and Twitter, VHG Hockey with an underscore. So those are the ones we use. We are TikTok free right now, but maybe someday we get into TikTok. Throw a reason why we should have TikTok down in the description of this video. And I feel like Boris from Goldeneye flipping my pencil right now. Any of you uh, James Bond fans know what I'm talking about. Okay, let's move out west. Let's go uh, out past... I'll pass Ontario. Let's go into the prairies. We're getting into Wilcox, Saskatchewan. We got a couple. We got a pair of boys out there. Um, we'll start with Carter Hines playing for Notre Dame, the under 16 prep team. Hines, he's 6'2, 178, and he is a smooth 6'2, 178. This guy really moves, excuse me, he moves efficiently. He has long strides. He has a good shot. He can do everything with his head up. I like this kid. I really do. I think he has a bright future in the game. If he ups his compete level and continues to work on those first couple steps, you know, again, I just, I think he's very smooth and he's also smart. He makes a simple play with the puck. He, he's efficient in his decision-making. I just think it's a matter of him saying, okay, and those 50, 50 pucks, I'm not going to get there first. I'm going to get there first, not second. So Carter, we, you and I talked about this at Christmas. That's something that was coming down from coach Jeremy in Notre Dame. I'm going to say Coach Malamak. God, that's a mouthful. So can I buy a vowel on that one? Anyway, I don't know you, Jeremy, but you know what? I love the feedback that you gave Carter and coming back with me. A lot of coaches, they don't give players that for whatever reason. It's nice to have coaches that are passionate about letting players know what they're good at and what they're not good at. All right. And last but not least, Jax Healy. Jackson Healy. Coming from CBS, uh, Jax is a big kid. Now, our stats are showing 5'11", 150. And Mia, did you, did you, where'd you get these stats? Our, st our stats dog is down here lying down on the, on the mat there. So I'm just wondering why she, he's recorded under that because he's definitely bigger than 5'11", 150. He is, I'd say 6'1", 6'2", and much more. I'd say he's probably 180, 185, somewhere in there. He is a man on skates. And he plays like that. He plays like that traditional, like kind of Robin Regeer type of guy, long stick, physical, likes to get on the body, likes to finish his checks, likes to win battles, likes to block shots, more of a, you know, more of a, just a simple, simple guy that's just going to move the pocket and do those things. Not going to carry the puck end to end and go top shelf. It's just not his game. But if you're looking for somebody that can fill into that third, three, four, five, six role in the future, at the next level, this is probably a guy that you want to take a look at. He uses a stick like an octopus. He's got a long stick. And he uses it well to defend, honestly. I've seen him in small space games. And it's like trying to pass the puck around him, even from my perspective, me playing. I like to jump in every now and again. I just noticed, like, he's got a hard stick to pass the puck around. And he reminds me a lot of a guy in 07 who's at OHA right now in Cornwall, Jack Marnell. They remind me a lot. of They're, they're almost like a player comp of each other. Marnell's like that too. Um, and actually, Marnell received the five star review on the Scouting News. Check them out on Twitter. I don't, I, I don't know the guy who runs the account, but he is like a legend. Like he's, he's just, I mean, he's always watching tape on guys, so he knows his stuff. So it's pretty cool to see one of our clients getting a five star review on that Scouting News Twitter site. And 07 is really good here. Actually, there was three kids from 07 that are from Newfoundland, uh, QMJHL draft eligible the following season, Tyler Hill on, on the back end, and 
Donald Hickey. I'm sure there's Donald Hickey's name has been thrown around lately because he is an absolute bulldog in the net. And he's probably one of the best goaltending prospects I've seen out of here in a while. Um, look out. He, he is in that mold of Mercer and Lachlan and some of those major junior guys. Um, just, I, I really like him a lot. And he is a tremendous kid who just works at his craft every single day. Doesn't care who he's on the ice with, just continues to work. But I'm going to stop talking about the 07s because this video is about the 06s. And actually, I'm just going to stop talking altogether because that's the end of this video. If I forgot somebody, guys, again, I do these videos off the cuff and it is Thursday night. It is late. So feel free to fire a message down into the description and I will make a note of that. And I will probably process that information and try to have a video or talk a little bit about that person in the future because my goal is to try to help as many Newfoundland hockey players as I possibly can. If they come to vision, even better. But there's guys on this list that I've mentioned that I've never even seen them before. I've never laid eyes on Will Petty, but, you know, I still want the best for Newfoundland kids. I'm gone.